Hey guys, this is one of the few videos I will be doing in English um, and today I will be talking about body armors. So as you guys know, uh, you know it's, it hasn't been really very peaceful in the US for the last few weeks and there has been a run on both guns, ammo, as well as body armors. And um, it's, pretty, it's pretty hard to buy you know, quality made, uh, made in USA gears. So I have bought a couple of plates from uh, AliExpr AliExpress and this one is uh, 3A and this one is 3 standalone and over the next couple of videos I will be testing them out with um, with the real animals and let's see you know if if they actually stand up to the reputation I know this have been pretty extensively tested by uh, Mr. Guns and Gears and there was another guy who was, who, you know, who, who followed the NIJ testing standard pretty closely. So I won't be completely repeating those, but um, I just want to test them out myself and see if we can trust quality, uh, if we can trust the, uh, these plays from, you know, from directly from China. And uh, I will be testing the 3A with 9mm because I don't have 357 and 45s. Um, but with the three standalone, I will be testing with a couple rounds of, um, you know, 7.62 NATO, two rounds of uh, 8.55 and two rounds of 193. So, um, you know, I'm about to head out to the range. So I'll see you guys there and hopefully these will stand up to the test. All right. See you guys soon. Bye. Get weapons hot. R set the three bullets none of them actually penetrated and the third one actually hit in the middle safety off weapons hot with that watch is that derba I'm asking how many rounds have I fired. We were at number six, and I decided to go with all ten. Uh, how long? Two rounds. Let's try. 示范已经打完了 So there are 10 hits and none of them penetrated which is pretty good uh, but there were some deformations the deformation on the bottom as I was going through the video is actually because there was nothing behind it when it was hit, it was just empty space and the hard bore became a soft bore but still Nothing penetrated. This was quite impressive. Overall, I'm pretty happy about the plates. Yeah, look at the deformations. Pretty bad, but survivable. Weapons hot. Defa. Set. R. E. Weapons clear. Let's take a look. The first one was right at the edge and it broke the ceramics and I thought it actually uh, went through but it didn't. The, uh, the bottle was broken because the, br the brute force transferred from the, uh, from the shot went directly into the bottle and broke the plastic. But actually the shot was contained and didn't go through. Weapons clear.
So the second shot was contained as well. It, it made a pretty big hole in the front, but didn't go through. There is a little bit of deformation, but contained the bullet contain, uh, entirely. So the next couple shots will be the 193s and the 762s. Weapons hot. That hit was right at the edge, uh, but it still didn't go through. Weapons clear. It was hit right in the middle, and it didn't go through. The back face deformation is not too bad. Quite good. Weapons hot. Weapons clear. The 762 shot was right wow. above the 855 uh, and didn't go through. Quite impressive. Wow, this is really good. Weapons hard. Weapons clear. This round hit too low, right at the edge, and blew the board apart, but there was no I just came back from the range, and here are the results. So let's talk about the level 3A first. Um, by the way, I already recorded uh, the Chinese version of the video, so all of the plates actually have been already opened, um, which saves us some time, you know, just talking about what's inside. Uh, starting from the the 3A, it up, I shot it with 10 9 millimeter uh, rounds out of a 16 inch barrel uh, Ruger PC carbine, which gives it a little bit more, you know, a lot more energy, frankly speaking, compared to a let's say you know coming from a pistol, uh, which is usually you know four to five inches. And I shot it from a distance about five meters, 15, 15 feet, give or so, and. Honestly speaking, none of them penetrated, and it was quite surprising. So, as you can see, it was one, two, th there was three here, two here, two here, couple more, couple more around the corner. And uh, if you take a look from here, I'll hope the camera can capture it. So, uh, honestly, none, none came through. These two small marks are um, basically rash marks from from the stump that I was shooting it, shooting it against. And these two holes, um, the one on the bottom and the one on top, actually came from a uh, from two 308 shots that my friends wanted to just, you know, have some fun. Uh, so obviously those don't count. But even though, right, like, none of them, you know, none of them came through. And yes, there are quite a bit of deformation, the back, back end deformation, but it's, I mean, what, I mean, it's, it's kind of to be expected. Uh, especially if you know, given from given the fact that it's quite short, and as you can see here, I already cut it up, and there are a bunch of bullets that were captured inside, and I actually didn't take them out. Um, but essentially, it, most of them penetrated no more than probably a third or even less. I, I honestly speaking, there's quite a bit of material left in the back, um, and. Yeah, so probably none of them penetrated more than a third of the uh, of the of the aramid fibers. If, actually, what what's funny is that I thought it was a hard board, but it's not. It's many layers of fine fibers woven together and probably compressed to give it a very rigid shape. Um, but what happens is just you know as the fiber break down, the uh, and as the energy gets absorbed by the impact, right? It, it just breaks, it just breaks down. But none of them penetrated. Um, the biggest deformation came from the bottom is basically because I shot I don't know if it's clear, but they are essentially about a, a centimeter apart two rounds probably uh, What uh, an inch which is what two and a half three centimeters from the edge two shots next to each other one by one and give a deformation But uh, nothing too bad. I mean, well, it's pretty bad, but better than two holes and um, here is another big group of lump but that was because it was shot by 
three, I think it's one, two, three. So three, three holes right here, three shots right next to each other. Uh, so basically the, you know, the first two pretty much softened the fiber and the third one gave the, gave the final deformation. Uh, again, honestly quite impressive. And, um, and yeah, I'll put some pictures towards the end. And, um, and honestly speaking, I'm quite impressed by the quality and the fact that it actually withstood, withstood 10 rounds. Um, definitely a thumbs up. And uh, I'm actually buying two dozens of these with, uh, with some of my friends. So, uh, but keep in mind that you ne you'll need a trauma pad in the back just to absorb the energy and, you know, like, uh, does, so they don't give you too many, uh, too many broken ribs. All right, now let's talk about um, the, the three, uh, level three plate. Actually, this is, this is probably what most people have been waiting for anyway. Um, so again, uh, let's see, take a look. So this one, sorry, I put in the bag earlier. Um, so you can see there were six, six rounds shot on this. This was the uh, 855. There was the second one, eight, the second 855. The first uh, 193, um, the, sub, the, the full metal jacket, the 855s, uh, just, in, just a reminder, they are uh, the, 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 the steel tipped bullets. And then another one, another 193. Uh, and then two 308, uh, which is 762 NATO uh, M80 ball, um, and and none of them penetrated. Um, so I'm going to show the back. So okay, there's a, there's a few good things about the plate, and and I'll talk about it in a bit. But um, as you can see, right, like basically when whenever a bullet hits the plate, uh, the ceramic gets completely shattered, and basically there's a big hole. And but the good thing is none of them actually penetrated. So let's see this one there is quite a bit of uh deformation in the back quite a bit i do have to admit right but the but the challenge is also this is a 308 hit right at the border um what an inch right at, about an inch right from the bottom and technically speaking this is you know from an nij st uh, testing standpoint this actually doesn't wouldn't count but it still withstood it it um it broke the backing so the inside of it, I'm just going to open it up. This is, this is essentially a level three plate in the back. It's pretty much the same. I think the same, uh, same, same thickness. It fe feels like the same thickness. Um, and basically the energy dissipated into this, this board and it, it completely blew it, blew it out. Um, yeah, you can see. Yeah, it's like this. Uh, but I don't believe any bullet actually went through. Huh. I don't believe any bullet went through. There is a hole in the back, but it might, might be, might be from a, um, from a fragment. But the, but again, right, it was just an inch below, an uh, inch above the, the top. So pretty impressive, honestly, but this would have hurt a hell lot probably resulting in several broken, uh, broken ribs and, and a huge bruise. But you most likely will be, will be able to actually walk out from this. Quite... Um, and then the rest is, you know, the, the... Oh, by the way, when the bullet hits, it actually hits the ceramic, completely shatters. So it, it's like, I can't find them anywhere. Um, but as you can see, right, like the, the boards, like the fragments got absorbed by the board. And... Yeah, overall it with, withstood all of the um, all of the hits, which is quite good. Now let's look at the front. Um, so there's a so let's talk about the benefits and the not so good things about this plate. Uh, number one, the good thing is that it actually is a mosaic mosaic design, which means that it's made from multiple, actually quite a bit of small uh, small small ceramics glued glued together. So you can see what and the benefit of is is that when the bullet hits, it would only shatter the immediate ceramic and you wouldn't, uh, wouldn't shatter the one next to it, right? So basically, uh, it gives a good multi-hit capability. And as you can see, there was, this one was the, uh, this one was the 193, this one was the 308, uh, the 762, if I, if I remember correctly. 
So the 193, and then the third one, there's a, this one right here, right next to it. Another, this, oh, this is 855. This is 193. That's the 762. So basically, as you can see, the first shot shattered the, uh, this section. The second shot was about a, maybe an inch and a half above it and shattered the, uh, the plate, I mean, the, the ceramic plate above that. And the third shot shattered the other one. But if you look at the immediate surrounding, they're still intact, which means that another bullet, if another bullet hits, uh, the, the plate can still take it. Now, it's a different story if the back can still take it, but the front will. Um, so that's a good thing. Actually, for a, for a plate about $100, I wasn't expecting this. Now, uh, there are also two downsides. The first one is probably the most critical one, is the fact that if you look, there is about an inch of foam around the ceramic plate. I actually just measured it. The, uh, although the plate is two f 25 centimeters, what, 25 by 30 centimeters, or 10 by 12 inches, the actual ceramic on this plate is only uh, 8 by 10, which is tw tw 20 centimeters wide by 25. I'm sorry, by 25, yes. So for a person that is pretty tall or large, this is not going to be enough. And it's a little bit deceptive, but I did a little bit more digging uh, during the last week since I recorded the Chinese version and actually found that pretty much all of the manufacturers in China make the place like this. But there is an option for an upgrade and uh, I'm ordering this week with the upgraded version, which means that um, if I look at from the front, you guys can see pretty much the, the seams, right? So the manufacturer actually told us they would upgrade our plate for 10 bucks more uh, per plate to the fact that the, you know, the ceramic will cover a significantly more area with a small bevel left of rubber uh, or foam, it's foam. Um, because the, the foam is you know, absolutely needed just in case it, you know, it falls and shatters. Um, so the foam is needed, but they're gonna make it much, much smaller. Um, you know, personally, I actually so, wasn't so worried about the, you know, the gap on the top and the bottom, because you, know, you can always move it up, or up, move it up or down. But for me personally, the width, the width is absolutely critical since I'm a larger person. And you know, when I measured it from nipple to nipple, it's exactly 10 inches, right? Or actually a little, a little, a little under, but I still need the, the, full, uh, the full 10 inches. Um, so when you guys are buying this, consider the size of your, your, your chest, basically, and your organs, and make the purchase appropriate because that's very important. Um, yeah, because you can see, right, there's a full inch right here. Um, shame, but but even even though this this uh, what is this? This is 193. It hit it right on the edge, shattered the thing, took that took out the foam, but there was no penetration, and actually very little deformation to my surprise. So that's great. Um, the second thing, which isn't too great, is that even though the front there is a little bit of I don't know if you guys can see, there's a little bit of. Um, I don't know what is this, some sort of soft material to soften uh, any drop, right, on the ceramic. The, the material itself is actually not very strong. So if you, if you look at the video of the, of the shots, right, the, uh, the ceramics actually, you know, falls out. But that, is, that is honestly not so great. Because when you get shot, you don't want, uh, you know, uh, the high energy uh, ceramic fragments to fly around and potentially cut yourself. Now, uh, you know, uh, if you guys go with such a cheap plate, I would highly recommend putting something in the front, maybe like a, like a, little, uh, like a thin wooden board or duct tape this several times because otherwise the fragments are gonna, uh, gonna come out. Yeah, yeah, quite a lot of the fragments are gonna come out. Even though it's gonna go forward, you never know if, it's, if something's gonna it actually hit your chin or not. So that is another thing that uh, people need to worry about. Personally, uh, I'm going to wrap it in a couple, you know, a couple layers of duct tape, and also around the uh, around the edge, just to make sure that you know, like capture any fragments coming from the bottom on the side if it takes a hit, and um, and uh, should be good to go. Uh, the other thing is obviously just like uh, the uh, the uh, 3A plate, you're going to need a trauma plate um, or another 3A plate in the back just in case this one deforms. This is a pretty bad deformation in the, in the bottom. Uh, 
survivable, but not, you're not going to enjoy it. But I mean, honestly speaking, if you get hit by a 762 on the chest, the, the likelihood that you're going to get up is pretty low, right? Like it's going to hurt as hell and you're going to have a few broken ribs. So, um, but still better than a few holes in the test. So anyway, if you guys like the videos, uh, please subscribe and let me know so that I can maybe, you know, start doing more English, English language version of my videos as well. Um, all right. See you guys in a couple of weeks and have a good day.